What is this? And what is this? Chances are you probably said a Big Mac and KFC chicken wings. Now the reason why you know this is because these brands have been advertising to you for years. In this video I decided to compare ads to reality and see if it matches up. I feel like just A4 is fine. Smell it. Sorry, I'm, I'm not from here. I'm looking to order something like this. You know what this thing is? So this is what the world's most famous burger, the McDonald's Big Mac, looks like in a McDonald's ad. Mm. So this is what it looks like, or what it's supposed to look like. And drum roll. Ta-da! I feel like this is just one of the best looking Big Macs. It's like the new way of making the video. It usually doesn't come like this. Do they look the same? No. The thing is, I think Big Mac is actually quite complex because unlike kind of KFC, unlike, you know, Twix and stuff, there is a lot of components that like go into this. So I think for what it is, this is actually a really good effort in terms of presentation. So I'm gonna give it an uh, eight out of 10. This is the ad for McDonald's French fries. That's okay, look at the amount of fries in here and compare it to this. Okay, I've had like five tops. Lucas, I didn't have more than five. There is none in the bag. There is not. Okay, there are three more in the bag. That's like compare this. Even like despite the fries, like it's been 20 minutes since we got them and they taste like cardboard. They just lose value faster than Bitcoin. So this is the KFC hot chicken wing from the ad. I think this one even looks better. A little bit more burnt here, but I like it this way. Watch and learn. Okay, cool. Step one, grasp the chicken wing firmly with both hands and wiggle. Okay. Gently tug one of the bones out. Dude. Okay, if this actually works. Alida! Which part is your favorite? How would you usually eat it? Wrong. You wiggle the two bones. You take this one. Comes out clean. It's not clean. <laughs> and then look, and this, no, it's clean. It's not. And this is how you eat it, come on. No. It's good like this. Nah. This is 10 out of 10. Mind blowing. But I feel like it's not that hard to actually make a chicken wing that is super like fried, look like a chicken wing. I don't think in the ads they even look this good. Right okay. where you are. So say no to FOMO. <laughs> like the box looks the same. Then they open it like this. Okay, so first, obviously, if you try to pull, then this happens. This looks a lot, nothing like in the end. Because it tastes good, and because the box is blue, I give them pity points, three out of 10. But basically what happens with this cheese is that they put cheese in the dividing kind of lines and then they heat it up so it melts. And then when they pick it up, then it looks like this. So Doritos crisps are famous for its crunch. So we're gonna try to recreate this ad that they have. Let's do it. You ready? It doesn't, it just... That was so good! I think this is it. So because it took forever to find a proper triangular Dorito, and because we took like eight takes to actually reenact this thing, let me know in the comments how the sound was, because the sound is like Dorito's key feature. It's out of 10, let's say it together. Four! Six. The sound is good. It's five. Let's make it five. So this is the Taco Bell commercial in Canada. Clap for the ones that live loud. Let's do it. I think very different from the ad actually. Clap for the ones that live loud. It wasn't satisfying at all. Zero out of ten. Really? Yeah, it was really bad. Feel dirty. <laughs> but I told you before, no one likes tacos. It's not like a popular thing like people think. One. You remember the sound? Now let's try. <laughs> Underwhelming a little bit. Okay, let's try another bottle. Let's test the sound. Hello, darkness, my old friend. Is this my fault or Coke's fault? Probably my fault. Okay, I'm just let's pretend this didn't happen. Can we just rewind? <laughs> Coke gets nine out of ten because I think this like this sound of is what's called a sound mark, right? So it's when a brand is really, really recognizable based on their sound. Like you could think of like Netflix, like there's 20th Century Fox, 
the HBO goes like right something like that and then there is the cokes like like it's their thing next is the ad for my favorite chocolate bar when I was a kid I'm gonna give you two seconds to guess which one it is right imagine Max little Max 10 years old hanging out in Ukraine what kind of chocolate bar does he like Twix do you think someone got Twix with caramel and chocolate Ah, it's already melting. E, you know this disgusting feeling when chocolate starts melting? I feel like I can't give a good assessment. Let me see. You know, here it looks like the caramel part and the waffle part is basically the same. The biscuit part is like the same size. Because Twix started melting in my hands, I give it a... Um, 1 out of 10, but because I used to like it as a kid, I give it 10 out of 10, so that means 5 out of 10. Oh! Thanks for watching! Bye!